Immortal John Hancock here, and today I'd like to talk about the many ports of Rampage, a timeless classic. Back in the day, played a lot of it, and I have many versions of this game. And what I love about classic ports is the differences that they had versus the arcade originals. And so, sit down, enjoy, and relax. I'm going to show you many versions of the arcade classic, Rampage. Rampage, arcade classic, back from 1986. If you haven't played it, it's awesome and what's cool about this game is you choose between George Lizzie and Ralph and you know kind of a take of you know Godzilla part King Kong part something else and so essentially you're wrecking cities and a great three-player arcade game I played a lot of this back in the day at round table pizza so it's kind of weird to think in 2018 that they have made a movie of this but okay oh well I'm sure there's worse so here it is Rampage the arcade classic this is the arcade ROM and again this is on several different systems and I'm going to talk more about that later in the video and just wanted to show you a quick version of the arcade game a lot of detail especially for a game 86 a lot of little cool things you can do Yep, you smash, <laughs> you smash buildings, punch helicopters, and eat people. Classic Nintendo packaging, Rampage. Here's my original cart. I've had this in my collection a long time. And this box came from a local rental store near my hometown. Still have the stickers from the rental store's inventory system still on it for that reason. I actually played and beat this one back in the day. Very disappointing ending to it. And not really an ending. And so it's it's one of those things where it's cool that Rampage is on the Nintendo, but it's not the best version. It's pretty scaled down. The graphics, there's some flicker, some slowdown. And I, I think the Master System version is better graphically and sound, which is weird. It's just one of those weird games that just is better on other things but yeah blocking out the entire united states is really tough but did it back in the day it was a lot of fun to rent this and to to beat it that way you know the good old days of renting a game and and having to beat it before you have to turn it back but yeah this is rampage for nintendo could have been better again it's omitting one of the playable characters ralph and so it's just one of those things where, you know, it's got a lot, some of the detail from the arcade game. But yeah, I'm just disappointed with it. It could have been better. Here is the packaging for the U.S. Sega Master System Rampage. And what you notice about this case art is, yeah, it's right. Activision ch chose to put their packaging in different colors. And with Rampage, they chose red. Master System fans rejoice because Rampage on Sega's console was awesome and it was an early successful port and I thought it was better than the Nintendo one I think it's one of the best ones it had great animation great sound great graphics and that's what I loved about early ports is that they had their own unique characteristics that made them different from just a straight one-to-one -one translation of the arcade game first of all it was a two-player game, and you could play one of the three arcade characters from the game. And I love that it has all three. The Master System version also had 50 stages. Now, it's, it's hard to kind of compare the stages for each version of the game because they're kind of... Some versions of the games had levels. Some of them had stages. This version had stages. And so there was 10 cities broken up into five stages per city. So 50, 50 stages. Anyways, I love this version. It's one of my favorite. And it's one of the one of the great games that Master System fans can say, hey, look, this version on the Master System was better than Nintendo. Here's a 2600 packaging in a nice bright red box. And I even have a catalog and some ordering information on a place where you could order 2600 games. Pretty cool. Came bundled with it. 2600 had an awesome title screen. 
Really like that. Really impressive. And had all three characters from the arcade. Pretty impressive. Now, this is scaled back. This is a scaled back version of the arcade experience. But I'm just happy that they actually had an, a version of this. Now, this is a late release. Really cool. You get shocked by the sign. Add some of the arcade moves. <laughs> a lot of the details missing. It's very blocky. Here's the Atari 7800 packaging. Pretty hard to find these days. And it's kind of in a unique blue box. One of the few third-party games made for the 7800. And here's my cart. And manual. And this is a good version of it. It's not my favorite version, but still neat to see the different unique ports done to classic systems. And so I'll go ahead and play with Ralph. I haven't played with Ralph in a little bit. On a side note, I guess that is where they got the name Wreck-It Ralph. Is from Rampage. For, pretty cool. So anyways, this is the 7800 version. And again, it's 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 unique. You know, it's it, it the creatures look a little bit different. Kind of super deformed. But it's fast. I just like seeing the different versions of this. And again, I'm capturing this on an actual 7800 using composite. But it's not bad. What's this? A Tandy color computer cartridge. Of Rampage? This can't be any good. And believe it or not, it's an excellent port. It plays a little bit slow. There isn't any music. The sound effects, unfortunately, are not available in this clip. But they're basic. And it's very playable. The other cool thing, feature about this game is that you can play three people at once pretty sweet one person would be on the keyboard while two people using deluxe tandy color computer joysticks would play the other two characters so pretty neat that you can play all three at once and graphics are pretty decent i was really impressed with this version i really like that these classic computer ports were able to pull it off especially of all things the tandy color computer here's the atari lynx packaging I'm missing the fold-out poster manual, but this is uh, one of the many great classics to come out on the systems library. It's modified. What's really cool about the Lynx version of Rampage is it has a fourth character, Larry the Rat, and you can Lynx, <laughs> get it? You can Lynx everybody up and play four players with the Calm Lynx. So we'll go down. We'll play Larry the Rat. And again, it's a little bit shrunken down. Not bad though. Especially with the modified link screen. Some decent detail. They did a pretty good job on the links. Definitely cool that you have an additional character to play. Here's the Game Boy Advance cart, which includes Paperboy and Rampage. So many great games came out on Game Boy Advance, and I love these compilations that came out, even though I wish there was more games on one cart. But here's Rampage, and Rampage is pretty good on the Game Boy Advance. It's a scaled-back version of the arcade. There's a little bit zoomed in for being being portable, and but you have all three characters. I think that's cool. And, yeah, so take what we can get. Has all the arcade levels that I do believe, 
And you know, again, it's just it's a helicopter is a little bit faster in this version, but but yeah, and that's the disadvantage. But it's fun. It's fun, and you can get this fairly inexpensive if you want a, a rampage on the go, and you want to play it on your Game Boy Advance. And you have Paperboy as a bonus. If you're looking to play something closer to the arcade original, there's many options for you. First off, the PlayStation Arcade Party Pack has Rampage included as one of the six games. Very classic Midway Arcade Treasures. And this is the first of three volumes, and it was released on PS2, Xbox, and GameCube. They also had a PSP version, in which had Rampage on it, including many other classics. Also, it's important to know that this is backwards compatible on the Xbox One, is Midway Arcade Origins. And this was for PS3 and Xbox 360, and includes many classics, including Rampage. Last, and maybe least, is Rampage Total Destruction, and as a bonus, it included Two arcade Rampage games, World Tour and the original, and this was made for PS2. It was also made for Wii and GameCube. I had a lot of fun doing this video. I couldn't think of a better time to pull out all my copies of Rampage and talk about them in one video. It's pretty interesting that they're making a movie on it. We'll see how good it is. Also, there's a couple versions that I couldn't show in this video because I don't have them. I'm missing the Atari ST version. I'm missing the Amiga port. I'm also missing, you know, the European computer versions. There also is a mini arcade version release, which is just the NES version. And that's kind of sad because I wish they based it on the arcade ROM. Anyways, thank you so much for people tuning in to my videos. I'm still doing three a week. I also have a Patreon in which I upload an exclusive video every month for as little as a dollar a month. Thank you so much. I appreciate everybody with your wonderful comments. It's awesome. This is the Immortal John Hancock. You take care.